Well, we begin today's news with the latest developments from the Presidential Commission of Inquiry. News first, Zulfik Farzan reports. Ministers Kabir Hashim and Malik Samarawikuma were at the Presidential Commission of Inquiry today to provide evidence. They were questioned by the judges of the Presidential Commission led by K.T. Chittasui on the breakfast meeting that took place on the 26th of February 2015. Now, Malik Samarawikuma said that he attended this meeting in the capacity as senior advisor to the Prime Minister. He said among those who were present at the breakfast meeting were the former Governor Arjuna Mahendran, former Minister Ravi Karunanayaka, Treasury officials, Central Bank officials and other RDA personnel. He said the discussion was based on outstanding payments that was uncovered uh, by them after being elected. These outstanding payments were for the road development projects that had been stalled during the previous government. Malik Samarubikama went on to say that there was no discussion on the bond auction that was to take place the following day, which is the 27th of February 2015, or the issuance of Treasury bonds. Meanwhile, Minister Kabir Hashim was also questioned on the breakfast meeting and he also said those present uh, included former Governor Arjuna Mahendran and former Minister Ravi Kaunar Naika and he said the reason for this meeting was because as the Minister of Highways he and his Minister of officials had identified an outstanding of 18 billion for the years 2013-2014 and they had 3 billion in their ministry and required more funding of 15 billion they had presented their case to the officials present at this meeting and he said that there was no discussion on the treasury bond auction or the issuance of treasury bonds. However, he said on the uh, first week of March they got 8.3 billion and the remainder was given to them by the end of March 2015. He said the requirement in February did not change in March 2015. Both these ministers were asked if Perpetual Treasuries Limited or any of the Perpetual Group companies, any of the Sri Lanka Group companies or Arjun Aloysius or Jeffrey Aloysius or anyone from that family made any contribution to the party. Malik Samarawikuma said there was no contribution to him or the party and Kabir Hashim also said there was no contribution by those institutions or those personnel to the party. From the Presidential Commission of Inquiry, I'm Zulfik Farzan for News First.